Hey, so really quick before we actually jump into things, I want to make two things very clear. Firstly, I am not here to be a PR representative or defendant of either Caleb Hammer or Scott Schaefer. I'm just here to talk about Zeke. Ezekiel or whatever his YouTube channel is. I'm only here to talk about one individual that was involved with Caleb Hammer. I'm not here to discuss any possibilities, allegations, or any other thing. Two, I am a life and relationship specialist. I am not a financial specialist. I am not a journal specialist. I'm just here to talk about how Zeke's involvement with Caleb plays into the human psyche, interpersonal relationships, and how you should go about actually intermingling with people and what to do, what not to do, and just overall give you guidance based off of this whole entire situation. So with all those out of the way, let's go ahead and jump right into things. I'm sorry to the people I offended. <laughs> I'm sorry to Caleb for threatening his life. I'm not sorry, but like, at the same time, like, man, I guess I am like, just fuck that guy. The individual that you just saw in that clip is a man named Zeke. Now, Zeke was a guest on Caleb Hammer's financial audit episode. He showed up three different times over the course of about six months, two month wait in between each. And the reason I'm talking about this today is because Caleb recently announced that Zeke had been stalking, making death threats, and doing other heinous actions against Caleb for the past year. Now, obviously, this sparked my curiosity, so I had to dig in a little bit deeper, and I did find Zeke's YouTube channel, more specifically his Ezekiel channel, or whatever it's called. I don't even know how to pronounce it. And quite frankly, there's not really too much to go into because his YouTube channel is pretty boring and it doesn't have any actual beneficial content. But what I do want to dive into is his allegation video about his experiences with Caleb Hammer and his sexual assault allegation which I will leave a link to that video in the description below. The main reason I haven't wanted to have this conversation via text is... Sorry, I had to burp. Um, one, I'm not used to OnlyFans. <laughs> Straight up. Uh, it's not really my scene. Now, just hearing this really quick clip, you would assume that Caleb is talking to him about bringing him on for OnlyFans content. But that's not actually the case. You see, this voice message was posted in July, which is... Ironically, three months after Zeke asked Caleb for OnlyFans connections because Zeke had already been posting on his OnlyFans and he wanted more connections to be able to elevate his own OnlyFans platform. Zeke reached out to Caleb and Caleb gave him the resources. And then three months later, Caleb was double checking if Zeke still wanted to do the OnlyFans content. Now, why does this matter? It matters for two specific reasons. Number one, Zeke claims that this voice message was the origination message, which led into Zeke apparently getting sexual assaulted, which never happened. Two, it means that Zeke is untruthful. He lies about he lies about the narrative and twisted it into his own form in a really terrible way, mind you, but he still attempted to do it. And on top of that, if you actually look at any of the three financial audit episodes, once again, I'll have those linked in the description below, you can tell that Zeke is a very dishonest person. He doesn't want to actually take any accountability or responsibility for his actions. And quite frankly, he's just not a very good individual to be, to be around. Now, if this was all there was to this small little plate of spaghetti, there wouldn't really be too much to talk about. Allegations, proven faults, done deal. But there's something else in between all of this that goes into a deeper narrative behind why Zeke even posted these in the first place. So to put it very simply, Zeke kept in contact with Caleb for over six months about constantly, constantly, constantly asking him, can I come back on the show? Let me be back on the show. Pay me more. Give me this. Give me that. Zeke was constantly asking Caleb for more clout, more fame, more support. And Caleb was being nice and generous and continually offering help to this individual because why would you not? You can see that he needs help, so of course you want to help him. However, Caleb kept saying, I'm sorry, I can't do that. Two weeks is too often. One month is too often. The bare minimum that I can do to have you on is every two months. And Zeke's 
telling him, I want to be on bi-weekly, I want to be on weekly, I want you to elevate me so I can get a free platform. Obviously, this didn't work out. So when Caleb kept denying Zeke all of these opportunities to be able to come back on his show, in his original allegation video, he's, while he's scrolling through the messages of every single text that he's ever sent to Caleb, he exposes Caleb's address, Caleb's studio. He exposes a lot of shit from Caleb and it's not cool. But also you can see all the texts that Zeke sent to Caleb in an attempt to have Caleb feel pity for him. And then finally, it all tumbles downhill when Zeke has had enough of trying to get Caleb to do things for him and Caleb's not doing the things that he wants him to do. So he hatches this galaxy brain idea. Pay attention to the fact that all of these following texts are from yesterday. So Zeke then hatches this galaxy brain idea that he's going to accuse Caleb of sexual assault and on top of that, he's going to make it seem like he's going to go out and murder this man in cold blood. I am not kidding you. Look at these texts. They're heinous. They are manipulative. They are psychotic. They are texts from someone that genuinely needs to go see a therapist and just hide away from society until they are actually better or just not participate in society. So where does all this tie into my opinion on the human psyche, what you can do to avoid doing this, and how you can actually have good relationships with people in the future? First of all, let's just go over the fact that Zeke thinks that any publicity equates to good publicity. This is not the case. Why? Because when you have a public image about you, your public image matters. It doesn't matter how you try to go about it. It doesn't matter what you think about it. Public image matters. What other people think of you matter. And when somebody sees that you do some really crazy psychotic shit like this, people are going to permanently mark you as a psychopath. And they're not going to want to watch you or deal with you. You are losing viewership and losing potential subscribers doing it this way. It's a lose-lose situation. You just don't win when you try and defame others and deplatform people that even tried to help you out for the longest time. Another thing is that the world doesn't owe you favors. It doesn't matter how much you manifest shit or want to do shit or think about shit or dream about shit. It doesn't matter. The world doesn't owe anyone anything if you don't put in the work. You have to show up and have the experience and have the knowledge and have the skills to be able to mingle with other people who have the skills that you need. That's the whole point of having a network. You have a specialty skill. I have a specialty skill. I know somebody else that has a specialty skill that you're looking for so I can get you contacted with them. That's literally what the OnlyFans request was for from Zach to Caleb. That was an, attempt, that was an actual good attempt to network, but it went awry because Zeke... It, because Zeke is just fucking psychotic. So unless you're going to contribute something to the greater benefit of society or you are useful to the group, nobody gives a damn about you. You're just a kid that doesn't know anything about life, doesn't want to actually work to have a good life, and doesn't want to contribute to anything anybody else does. You don't have any verifiable skills. You keep dropping out of school. You went to school to be a massage therapist and then you fucking dropped out of that a month later. Oh, because, oh, you, you don't even know. You don't even know. Look at this. You don't even know why you dropped out of school. You just felt like, oh, I'm whimsical. I don't want to do it anymore. The nerve, the absolute nerve of, of this guy, because he even wants free public education, but then when he, his mom pays for the education, which by the way, mind you, Zeke lied about actually going to school. He was taking his mom's money and spending it willy-nilly, not going to school, telling his mom that he was going to school. I'm not here to talk about all that. I am not here to talk about all that. Reframe. Point is, you have to show your work. You have to bring worth to others. Others will bring worth to you if you bring worth to them. Easy as that. Another thing. His content that he has on his streams, his YouTube, his TikTok, it's all lazy. One of his earliest videos, one of the first videos that he ever posted on his channel, wasn't even his creation. It's genuinely just a cut version of the second episode of Financial Audit that Zeke was on. It doesn't have any special effects or anything. It's literally just a cut, copy, paste of the second episode that Caleb uploaded. There's 
that's lazy. It's disgusting. It's, it, it's slimy to re-upload someone else's content onto your channel and remix it as if you're trying to spread a message. And also, that's another thing, bro. I hate how Zeke kept trying and trying and trying and trying to reappear on Caleb's show just to use Caleb's platform to give himself a free platform. That ain't how this shit works. You develop your own platform and you build it based on your own success and your own stories. And you as the audience come to me so that way I can provide you with the value and entertainment that you are seeking. That is how the market works. Similarly, like, this is a wild example, but let's say I have a 2001 Honda Accord. Let's say it has 340,000 miles on it. Let's say I want to list it on Craigslist. I list it for $21,000. Why? Because I want to sell it for $21,000. I have the freedom to sell a 2001 Honda Accord with 340,000 miles for $21,000, but that doesn't mean that the buying market is going to want to buy that for that price because it's not worth that price. It's old, it's nearly it's used, it's nearly broken down, it's ready to go to the scrapyard. So it doesn't matter what you're selling and it doesn't matter who you're selling to and it doesn't matter what kind of price you're selling at if the buyer doesn't think that it's worth the price that you're selling it for. If you don't have something worth buying, then nobody is going to buy it. I'm sorry, that's just how things work. That's how life works, dude. Let me get on demon time for a second here. Zeke provides less value to society than a homeless man holding a piece of cardboard at a freeway exit left turn lane. Oh yes, because here's the thing. Zeke is genuinely just living with family members. He doesn't have a job. He can't stay in school. He doesn't developing any of his skills. He's not doing anything beneficial in any platform. He is genuinely just sucking in oxygen and pumping out carbon dioxide. That's all he's doing. He is not putting money back into the economy. He is genuinely just a leech on the overall societal value. Compare that to the homeless guy holding the piece of cardboard. His piece of cardboard says, willing to work for anything. So I see him and I say, I need my lawn mowed. Do you want to do it for 40 bucks? And he says, okay. So I take him in my car or I give him my address. He comes to my house and then he mows my lawn and I give him $40. And then he goes and uses that $40 maybe to buy some alcohol to forget about his homelessness and just drink the night away for a little bit. Maybe he goes to buy some food. Point is, is that that homeless man gave me value, I gave him value, and then he gave value to businesses. That is already more value than Zeke has ever given to anyone at this point. I don't want to hear anyone say, oh, you're being too mean, he's too young, he's, he doesn't know what he's doing. Bullshit. This guy was 19 at the time. He is done being a teen because he is not 19. He is now 21 at this point when all of this came out, okay? When you are 21, you are old enough to go out and buy alcohol and cigarettes and nicotine and marijuana legally. You are a fully fledged adult according to the system at this point. So you have no excuses. You just want to live in your own anime fantasy. And when you live in your main character anime fantasy where you are the main character and everyone else around you are side characters and, and NPCs, you don't live a good life because you don't provide anything to other people and other people don't want to provide anything to you because all you do is you just take from them and then you expect them to just give you a free elevation or free money or free whatever. That isn't how life works. I don't care that he doesn't care about money. I don't care what he, his values are. Nobody cares what his values are because he doesn't have anything to give in exchange for his opinion on the values and nobody gives a damn about somebody that has an opinion if they don't have anything, any of the skills or the qualifications to back that opinion up. He deserves nothing. He is not going to die on the Walmart floor. He is not even going to die at the freeway exit left turn lane. He is probably going to die in his grandmother's barn because that's apparently where he's last lived. If you think that the message that I'm preaching on this channel is relevant to you, go ahead and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with any future content that I release. Give this video a like or a dislike, depending on how you feel about it. And lastly, leave a comment below. What has been your experience with Zeke in the past? What's your experience with Caleb Hammer? What's your overall opinion on this? Let me know, and I will look forward to seeing you in the next one. 
Also, let me know if I forgot anything because this shit is constantly updating. So I am always looking for updates on anything related to this.